friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! It is another Friday, one of the best days of the entire week. It is another weigh-in, workshop topic, recap, and I'm gonna share with you how my week was it was crazy and set some goals moving into the next week. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. So head on over and check out nutrition coaching. Links, discounts, all my favorite things and of course my Facebook group are also down in the description box. We'd love to have you join our community over there. It's a pretty fun place to be. So let's jump into this week's WW workshop, set some goals for next week, and of course this week's WW weigh-in. I hope you had an absolutely fantastic week. I had a very stressful week. If you follow my channel, you know that Diesel, my lab, recently went in for ACL surgery. In fact, this last Friday, so it's been a full week now since his surgery, and it has been rough. Very rough for him, of course, and very rough for me as well. Troy, my husband, works four days a week, so he's gone a lot of hours each of those days. And of course, I am the primary caregiver of Diesel. It's hard for him to walk around. It's hard for him to move. I have to help him off the bed and outside and up the stairs and he weighs over 100 pounds so it's definitely not a small feat but the most challenging part has been the fact that he will not take his medicine he's so smart he knows when it's in food and he won't eat it so what we've had to do unfortunately is literally shove the pills down his throat so that he's getting in his medicine every day i've contacted the vet all of the suggestions that they gave us are not working. He is literally the worst dog I've ever had when it comes to taking medication. So that has been a huge struggle. And we're talking medication, 13 to 14 pills, two times a day. So that's been really the hardest part. I haven't gotten a lot of sleep because I've been worried about him and sometimes he'll whine during the night because he wants outside. So you have to get up and take him outside. It's been a week. It's been really hard and it's a six to eight week recovery period. So really we're just getting into it. So that's been a bit of a challenge for me when it comes to just having energy to do day-to-day -day activities, more or less get in my workout, track my food. I did share in my Facebook group. If you're not in my Facebook group, head on over, join us. We'd love to have you. I did share that I decided to put off tracking for at least the first week or two of Diesel's recovery. And on a side note, because I'm so busy with Diesel, and then whenever I have a moment when he's sleeping, I'm doing things around the house, I haven't been eating very much. And that's been a bit of a struggle as I don't think I'm eating enough, more or less eating too much. I just had to take tracking off of my plate during his recovery. He has to be forefront and the most important thing, not tracking my food. So with that being said, I have been able to get my workouts in two to three times a week, just depending on what Troy's three days a week off look like. If he has a lot of appointments and errands, then someone has to be here with Diesel. But I've been able to at least get in two, if not three days of working out, which has been huge. It's been really important for me for self-care to get my workouts in. So this week's been rough. It's uh, been one of the hardest weeks as far as mentally that I've had in a while just taking care of Diesel. And Palmer's still a puppy. He's less than six months old. So it's like having two young babies to take care of. So it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle. So this week's workshop topic really came at a perfect time. And this topic this week is about taking time for yourself, doing things for yourself. Sometimes we just get too busy with life to really think about ourselves and to do self-care or just to do small things that help us feel better, that rejuvenate and fulfill us mentally. It's hard for us to make time for that when we're so busy with all of the other factors of life, but it's so incredibly important to make time for yourself. So WW wants 
wants to share some tips and tricks on how you can start implementing a little bit of self-care. Tip number one is to make a list of things that you enjoy doing, activities or things that really make you happy, that make your heart feel fulfilled. And when you're making this list, think about four different areas of activities and how you can incorporate those a little bit more into your life. Area number one is just about you. What types of activities do you like doing when you're alone? Solely just you. Maybe it's reading or painting or taking a walk. What about activities that involve others, whether it's friends or family? Maybe you want to host a game night or since we can, maybe you want to go to a music concert or a comedy show. Maybe you're fulfilled by doing things for others, whether that's volunteering at your favorite charity or going through your clothes and donating the clothes that you don't wear to a good cause. Or maybe it's taking care of your health, trying a new recipe, incorporating a good home cooked meal. Or maybe it's heading to a yoga class or in my case, going to jazzercise is a huge form of self care for me. Then you need to think about when, where, and how often you can incorporate this self love. Be realistic. Think about your work schedule, your family schedule, and the other things that you have on your plate and think about how many times per week you can incorporate whatever activity, whether it's alone with your family or friends, or maybe it's a little bit of self care, like going to your workout. Just be realistic about how much per week you can incorporate this. Maybe write this out on a calendar or in a planner. Put X's in the days that you know you're just not going to have time for really any form of taking care of yourself. And then in the days that you know you might have a little bit of time, maybe it's on the weekend or the early morning, put a heart, a clock, a star, something to remind you that those are days that you can incorporate that self-care. Number three is pair an activity from number one with number two. So let's say that on Saturday, you you have a heart. You know that Saturday you're a little more open to incorporate these things. Maybe that's when you want to host a game night or get in your workout, or maybe that's when you want to head to the grocery store, pick up all the fixings to create a new meal. And lastly, schedule it. Schedule in time for yourself. So on that same calendar, write in that workout class or write in the meal that you're making, or maybe write in who you're inviting to that game night. Put it in your calendar, Put it on paper, that way you're committed to doing it. Doing things for ourselves and doing things that are meaningful to us can really enhance our overall quality of life, but they can also keep you motivated and excited about your weight loss journey. When we're taking care of ourselves and when we're loving ourselves, we're far more likely to take care and love others. So make self-care and taking care of yourself a huge priority. I know for me, with how crazy my life is right now, taking care of myself has been really important. I've been taking a little bit of extra time to do a sheet mask at night or put on an overnight facial mask or paint my toenails. And one of the main things I've been doing is after my workout, going to Starbucks and getting myself a coffee, something that I really enjoy and something that warms my heart and makes me happy. It's so important to take care of yourself and to take care of others. So for this week's weigh-in, considering I didn't track at all, considering I probably under ate most of the week, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually down point two. Most of the week I was maintaining my weight. I did step on the scale a couple times and my weight just really stayed the same. But when I stepped on the scale this morning, I'm actually down 0.2 pounds, which is great. I don't expect to really lose a lot of weight over the next couple of weeks, but the fact that I'm still down in weight and not gaining weight, I'm going to take that as a huge win. So I've lost both weeks of the month of June so far, which again, considering my life, is amazing. So I want to hear from you guys. How are you doing? How's your life been? And let me know down in the comments. Did you gain? Did you lose? How your week was? And also think about one thing for self-care or self-love that you want to do this week and leave that down in the comments. That way we can share our ideas with others in the community because maybe you're doing something for you that one of us may want to incorporate into our self-care routine. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here hit the subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Before I go, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's reached out and offered support and love and well wishes for Diesel. It seriously means a lot to me. Hundreds and hundreds of you have either posted in my Facebook group or reached out to me directly and seriously, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And if you're not in my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye friends.